Hello and welcome to Jamie TV. Thank you very much for being here. Hello, Russ, in the chat. Does everything sound okay? Just let me know if uh, my mic level's okay and the music sounds all right. I'll maybe just try and leave it quiet in the background there. Just nice and professional background music. Um, my name is Jamie Mallinder and it has been far too long since my last stream. I did a test stream on Patreon last night. And it went really, really well. If you've not checked out my Patreon yet, you really should do. There's a lot of really, really cool stuff happening there. You can join for next to nothing, basically. And I will help you with your music making. I will show you new apps. Um, I will just help you with your playing of instruments and just understanding of music. Anything you want to know. And, uh, and it's cheap as chips. So check it out. There's a link down below this video okay so you may be wondering why on earth would i need to buy an app just for claps you might be thinking you know i've got loads of drum machines in fact i've seen plenty of people on facebook already moaning about it as they do you know you know why would i buy that i've got drum machines they've all got claps in them why do i need an app especially for claps well I think it's awesome and also it is as cheap as chips and it does a great job it does a great job of like one thing um so if claps are important to you in your music i think that this is it's definitely an app well worth investing in i'm going to show it yeah i'm going to show you what it does and so then you can make an informed decision right so um i want to show you something what do i want to show you i want to go to this button here there right now if i go to my uh, web browser with the correct mouse over here i can show you a picture of an old boss pedal this is the pedal that uh, this app is based on um as you can see it's a thing for stamping on to make a clap sound but it does an awful lot more than the original pedal did. Um, also, I want to show you before I go any further, I checked out Audio Things website and I looked at the manual and it's a very, very nicely written manual. It's actually written for the desktop, but it makes no difference because the iOS version is just like the desktop. And in fact, if you're a desktop user and you don't use iOS stuff, this video will be it will be appropriate anyway because it don't sweat the camera you stupid hippie um because it's exactly the same right so yes nice handy helpful manual written for noddies like me perfectly easy to understand now i'm going to go back to my live stream thing and press this button here this is really awesome by the way i've got my old iPad, which you can see if you're looking in this camera, my old iPad over here. This is my iPad. Um, it's a 6th gen. And I downloaded OBS Blade for it. And it's and it turns into a stream deck. 
and and it's working and it's awesome. All the claps, hey, affordable. Now then, um, thank you for joining us. I very much enjoyed your interview with Jade, by the way. And can I just say, while we're here um, for Jade Star, um, Solidarity Sister, it is absolutely disgraceful what has happened to Jade Star. I'm sure you all know all about it. It's absolutely shocking to me that in this day and age, someone should have rights um, to have someone censored, um, punished for expressing an opinion which is not hateful. Um, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm outraged by it still. Uh, Jade will be back. Oh, thank you very much, Audible. You are a wonderful human being. Um, Jade will be back. Now, let's see. What day is it? It's Wednesday here. So, I think that means it's already Thursday in Australia. So, does that mean that Jade's back either tonight or tomorrow night? But she'll be back. Right. So, let's have a look at this clapper. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to stop this background music. Um, we're going to come back to this project later, but for now, I'm just going to close that out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open Hand Clapper in its um, standalone state. Now, I have to be careful with volume in standalone. So let me just turn this volume down on my desk. I don't want to blow anyone's eardrums up. And I just want to see in my streaming software, my volume. Okay, let me know if that's distorting any or anything. Let me know if, if the audio is okay. Hey, Mateus is here. Um, you're sorry for being late. You were putting your kid to sleep. <laughs> um, I know what that's like. Don't worry. Uh, Mateus was with me last night on my Patreon stream where we made the track that you've just been listening to I just did a stream where I just and I needed to do a test stream and so I just did a stream where I just made some music and that's what I came up with and uh, there was a few of us there it was it was fun I, I want to do a lot more of that stuff all right so hey Mars is here hi Mars was with us last night on Patreon as well all right so um as you can see, in fact, shall I just go to big screen for a moment? There we go. As you can see, kind of looks a bit like the pedal itself. So you've got this big pedally thing to twat here uh, to make a clap sound. And then you've got all kinds of controls which will make adjustments to the clap sound. Hey, Sam's here. Hi, Sam. Thanks for joining us, man. It's always a pleasure to see you. Now, it does do a little bit more than just make a clap sound, but um, what I'm going to do, I want to draw your attention, first of all, to this slider here. So when this slider is in this position, it's going to make an 808 clap type sound. And then when I go down to here, it's going to change to a 909 sound. And then we'll go here. Now this sound is from the original pedal itself, the one I showed you a picture of a few moments ago. Now, if I drop this slider down to the bottom, now we can press this custom button and we can select one of a whole bunch of samples from various sources. I'll just select a couple for now. Oh yeah, and something I really, I made a note. I made a note, I must tell you this, this is really important because I think this is really cool. While you're selecting from this list, Hey Dale, thanks for being here. Um, while you're selecting from this list, you can preview the sound by just clicking in the list. So it's not like a lot of apps where you kind of select it and then the list closes and you play the sound and you decide you don't like it and you open the list again and blah, blah, blah. It's not like that. You can actually preview it here. Now, while you're previewing it here, you're previewing it with all of the settings in the same positions. More on that later. That's a sample that I imported earlier, as is the next one. We'll have a look at that in a bit too. All right, so basically, there's a whole bunch of sounds in here that you can choose in this custom area here. Right, let me just go back to my main view. Right, so 
I'm going to go back up to the 808 sound. And what shall I show you next? Shall I show you? I'll show you this. Don't let me forget about this random dice button here. Okay. Um, right. So now if I go here, we've got a bunch of presets. So in the presets, it selects one of the sounds. Some of uh, some of them are the 808, and the nine um, and the and the pedal and some of them are from the custom bank right and so we've got a bunch of presets now in this menu i can't preview it by just pressing on it which is a shame all right and there's no like uh left and right selector to toggle through presets which might be nice i think that might be a nice addition to the app right okay so i can just go through all you know all these sounds but that might be quite quite dull you get the idea what i'm more interested in is actually showing you how everything works so what i'm going to do i'm going to grab an 808 clap sound and i'm going to let's just oh what we're saying here hand clapper is currently on the sale for 3.99 will be 5.99 that's in dollars in american dollars i presume there's up and down arrows in the preset list. Yes, there is, actually. You are correct. Yes. There. Left and right. Correct. I'm a stupid heavy. Oh, well. All right, so uh, what was I doing? Right, 808 sound. Bring the reverb down. And turn randomness down. Decay to sort of a normal kind of a setting. And then... I'm going to bring this down here and this down here. Okay, so this is how it works. If I want to change the EQ of the sound, then I go here and move the frequency for this filter here. There you see, I've got more toppy sound and a bit more thud to it back here. I can turn up the gain of the sample. Gives it a bit more bite, a bit more top as well. And more kind of like a sort of bit of a dance clap type, type thing. Not, not that I'm an expert on dance music or anything, but that's, that's what I think. Right, we can make the sample last longer with the decay control. Turn it all the way up. Right, okay. So at the moment, what we've got is one person clapping. Let's make it two people with the amount control. Now, so that you can hear the two different people clapping, let's turn the rate up. So the rate control is really sort of how out of time they are clapping with each other because of course, human beings don't clap in time. So if you are trying to create the sound of lots of people clapping together in a door and you've got so you've got like a, a clap sound in in on one of your tracks, right? You want to make it like sound like a lot of people are clapping. You copy that track over sort of several times. Makes no difference. It's just louder. To make it sound like lots of people are clapping, they need to be slightly out of time with each other, right? So um, rate puts them out of time with each other. So if I turn it all the way up, Right, you can hear both of them clap. And now we've got three people, right? So, please ignore the following. Does it do the sound of one hand clapping? <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say that's too stupid to laugh at Audible, but I laughed, so maybe I'm stupid. Hey, Brad. Nice to see you. Dude, thanks for joining me. Thank you. Um, right, so let's go to seven people clapping right now. I'm going to bring the rate down so they're more or less in time with each other. Right, just a little more out of time. There. Right, so that sounds like a whole bunch of people clapping together at the same time. And it's great. I love this. Um, let's turn some reverb. Well, let's put the reverb because the reverb 
the inbuilt reverb. Now, would I use this reverb? Uh, I would, because it sounds really, really nice. You can't do anything to it. You know, you can't roll off any low end or anything. But actually, um, I've not I've not used it like in a track mixing it yet. I just got it this morning. But it sounds pretty good, you know. I like it. Hmm, now I've added the reverb. I want to take off a little top end. Ooh, now, one hand clap would be like slapping the belly. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I guess. It's an interesting image, Sam. All right. How's my level doing there? You must let me know if this is uh, this is distorting the uh, the output on my streaming software because it sounds okay here. I'm just a little bit concerned about it because it really does have some poke, does this app. All right, so... That sounds pretty good, right? If we're just looking for sort of a standard clap sort of a sound, let's go to a 909 sound, right? And then here's the HC2. Right, now let me turn the rate right up now that we've got seven people clapping more or less at the same time. All right. So now it's an interesting sound, right? Doesn't sound like a clap. But we made an interesting sound. Let me bring this back. We're going to do more with that later. Also, we've got this randomness control. Now, what the randomness control will do is the more you turn it up, the more it will create. Um, each time you hit the pedal, it's going to introduce variations to the way you've got the parameters set. Right? So it doesn't sound exactly the same each time. So therefore sounds more human. Right, so now it sounds, everything sounds the same. Turn the randomness all the way up. Right, I think that's really cool. I'm gonna leave that all the way up for my tracks. I like that. I like the idea of it. I think that's really awesome. Turn the rate down ever so slightly. And I'm liking Big Clap, I think. Well, it's not Big Clap anymore because I've changed it all. Right, so, um. Am I going to save that? No, I'm not going to save it. No, I'm not. We'll have fun doing it all again later. Right, now, here's a nice little thing. In apps, I know a lot of people are very, very fond of random buttons. Right, now, I'm not. I'm not a fan of the random button. I like tweaking things myself, right? Because I'm a pompous, stuck-up, arsey old musician who likes to feel like he did it himself, right? <laughs> A self-important old arse who likes to feel like he made that sound by tweaking everything himself because he's so special. But I know a lot of people love these random dice um, controls. So if I just press this button, it's going to give us a completely random set of parameters. And so on and so on, right? And it just keeps on. It's the dice that keeps on giving. The claps are distorted, are they? Right, okay. Um, yes, yeah, some of them don't sound like a person clapping because they... Um, because you can make sounds with this that don't sound anything like a clap. But it might be... I might have got the outboard just a little higher. I'm, I'm just going to air on the side of caution like a sensible hippie and just turn it down a little bit let me know if it's too quiet right random 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 okay right embrace the random and tweak <laughs> should be a t-shirt audible get that printed man that's cool okay right so i could do that all day it sounds fantastic. Right, now, here's the thing, right? In the custom thing, you can import your own sample. So you can... So, yeah, I was, I was just saying that, dude. <laughs> um, so, yeah, you can import your own sample. You just press on import, and it takes you to a folder. 
where uh, apparently I have nothing in. Oh, I do. Right. Just took a little moment to populate. Um, right. And I just grabbed something from here. Actually, what's that? A finger snap. That might be interesting. I have no idea what this sample is. Um, so let's just try it. Oh, right. A finger snap. Let's just let's just take off let's sort of simplify the controls here on the on the finger snap right yeah okay um one finger snap and right now just turn the gain up on it a little bit and the decay okay right let's just a little bit more top end to it Right now, let's make it two people doing finger snaps, slightly out of time to each other. Okay, what about seven snaps? Hmm. Finger snaps sound worse out of time from each other than claps do, apparently. <laughs> All right. I have no idea where that sample came from. Oh, now that's quite nice. Right, and I want to take the random down for now. Okay, I dig that, I dig that. Maybe let's take that decay off. Mm. Let's leave the decay lower and add more reverb. Oh. And now we've got a sound. Right, now we'll introduce a bit of random. You know, I like that. Uh oh, they were going to come out with the finger snapper next. <laughs> Not bad for four bucks. Uh, thank you for joining us, Square Breaker. I don't think I've ever seen you in a in a stream before. Thank you for being here. Pleasure to have you. Uh, Russ says I used the finger snap on the Korg M1 in dance music quite a bit. It was a thing for a while, right? Well, I have used the finger snap in the Clevgrand app. Um, is it Ting? I think it's Ting it, the, the finger snap is in. I've used the finger snap in quite a few songs and quite often I've opened the app just to use that finger snap because, it, because it's just a great sounding snap. It sounds really cool. Stick a bit of reverb on it. It's magic. And I think that the sample I've imported here is actually uh, that finger snap from the app because I, I've definitely used that sample in um in other apps uh, so yeah it probably is but i'm very guilty of having loads of folders with loads of like audio files and you know samples and bits and bobs of things floating about all over all of my devices and having no idea what any of them are because i label things so badly i mean i make a lot of music very very quickly but um but yeah, it's it's a pain in arse. You know, I, I keep saying I'm going to go through everything. I'm going to label everything. I'm going to go to my Dropbox and, you know, put things in folders and stuff. I never get on with it. Hi, Ed. All the cool people are here today. Right. So um, what am I going to do next? I've forgotten. I lost the plot for a moment there. Right. Yeah. So I imported the finger snap. And that sounds really, really cool, right? I love that. That's pretty awesome. But we could also use this to do stranger things if we want to, you know? We could go, I imported a couple of sounds earlier. I imported, um, I once recorded my son. He was, um, Freddie was late to, to start talking because he uh, he's autistic and like a lot of autistic people, he didn't talk young and then when he started talking he you know never shut up uh, and um so we were sat on the sofa one day um it must have been about three i think and he was nattering away just chatting away and so i just recorded him on my phone and i chopped a little bit out of that recording because he said something interesting because i was editing a video on my ipad and he um he said, is this a music video or something? Or something like that. I chopped that little bit out. Um, so, And I think I labelled it Fredhead. Yeah, there we are. 
right? So let's have a listen to Freddy. We'll take down the, um, we'll take down the randomness and the rate and the amount. Okay, let's take sort of make it real dry, and then press the wrong button. All right, take the gain up on it so we can hear him a bit better. So you're just hearing the very beginning of what he said, because you only get a couple of seconds of the sample. I'll turn the decay all the way up, then we should be able to hear a bit more of it. Is this a music thing? Is this a music thing or something? Is this a music? Right, okay. Now, let's put a little more low end in Freddie's voice. Is this Right, and then we will make it seven frets. Is this a music? Is this a music? Is this a music? Like ratchets, the beginning. Um, introduce some randomness. Is this a music? Is this a music? Is this a music? Is this, is this, is this a music? Right, some reverb on Fred. Is this a music? <laughs> is this a music? He'd kill me. He'd kill me if he knew I were doing this. If he's watching me now, <laughs> he won't be watching me now. He'll be watching some video about Roblox or um, Minecraft. Right, okay, so. Um, and let's do another one, actually. Let's just go, um, there was one here. This is a sample which I think is from one of... Um, uh, Les Vons Productions packs of samples. This is a plastic drum. Right, so let's um, have more drums uh, playing in time with each other, slightly out of time with each other. And a bit more randomness. And a bit more reverb. Too much randomness. Right, that's pretty cool. You know, that's a cool app. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to shut this uh, standalone. Oh, actually, no, there's maybe a couple of things I ought to tell you. Um, so we can... Um, obviously, we can save presets as we go along. Um, and oh yeah, right now in settings you can make it uh, sensitive to you can make it velocity sensitive or not. You can disable that here, um, and you can make it tuned. I forgot to try that. I've not done that yet, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. Um, in fact, let's do that next. Right, we'll do that next. Um, and you can lock all the parameters, um, so that you can. Um, you can choose a preset, but the parameters in the app don't change, um, which is particularly helpful for uh, master volume, actually. And you can copy and paste your settings and paste them into another preset. There's a link to the on online manual, which I've already mentioned is really, really good. All right, so let's close this app. Can I do this with my Bluetooth mouse? Because honestly, this mouse... Drives me mental. I'll be really impressed with myself if I can do this. Nope. Nope. Get away. <laughs> Go. No, it's not happening. Right. Um, so let's go and grab a web. And we will open up. Hand clapper, there we are. Right, now I'm gonna want my keyboard, so let's just link up my keyboard to it. Um, there we go. Now, careful with volume. Right, now let's try out that thing that I forgot to test before the stream. Yeah, I'm thinking pitched sample Sam. That's what I'm thinking. 
Um, but like a stupid forgetful hippie, I forgot to try it. So let's click on tuned. And now, oh yeah. Right, let's use my octave button for this. That's super. That's that's really really cool. Because let's say you uh, played a few different pitches in at the same time, and each one of those is seven different people clapping out slightly at a time with each other. And it's going to sound huge. It's going to be like we will rock you, you know. Which is a really awesome example of people clapping slightly at a time, and it's sounding better than being in time, right? Um, so that worked then. I'm impressed with my, and pleased with myself. Let's, uh, there's no point trying to do that with the mouse. I'm going to get rid of this now and go back to Cubasis 3. And so this is the track that I made uh, on Patreon last night. What's my volume like here? Let's have another listen to a bit of that. You think the pitch also applies to the blue bar on the screen? Oh. Yeah. Okay. You've read the manual but don't have the app. Um, well, I'm going to be asking for some codes for this app. Uh, but I'm going to be giving them away on my Patreon. That That's what I've decided to do for now. Because I had some bad experiences. Um, I was basically trying really hard to promote my channel by giving codes away again uh, with each video. And I got people like entering multiple times, um, you know, with different, fake, you know, to win an app that costs five pounds using multiple accounts, you know, fake accounts to have more chances to win. And, um, and I had somebody being really, really unpleasant with me because they entered three competitions in a row and didn't win a, didn't win a code. Um, you know, so uh, for now, I'm giving them away on my Patreon, which you can join for just about one dollar, one quid, one euro a month, you know. Right, so um, I've completely lost track of what I was going to do. Uh, yeah, let's have a little listen to this. No, we'll not. We'll do this because Sam mentioned it and... And I think it'll probably work inside Cubasis 3. Um, before I forget, we'll go to Tuned again. Right, let's check that the Tuned does work inside Cubasis 3. It does, but... I'm not noticing it on the blue bar. Okay. All right, let's have another listen to this track. Be back with you in a little moment. Okay, 
I just had to go off camera a little moment there just to um, so I could have a little chair dance. <laughs> I'm really enjoying this this track. Um, okay, um, you have to enable tuned in settings. I, I did, I did, I um, I did that. Um, I, I don't know why I pressed that. I mean, you know, stupid, stupid happy moment. Um, yeah, I forgot settings. It's enabled. I presume that's what you mean, Sam. Um, and I read it in the manual. I just forgot to try it, that's all. Uh, but I don't remember reading anything about the blue bar. But um, I should try it again in standalone, actually, which I could do easily enough. In fact, I could just do this. Um, make sure tuned is on, right? And then... Oh, sorry, Sam. <laughs> okay, all right, sorry. So does it do it on the desktop version yet? Because I've got the desktop version, but I haven't had a chance to try it yet. I wanted to get prepared, ready for the, the stream, so I've just been using the iOS version. Right, okay. Let's go back to Cubases. Right, okay, so my plan was to show you this app, uh, which I think I have done. I don't think there's anything I've, I've missed from showing you the app. Um... And then I thought what I'll do is, I'm not going to stream for ages today, I'm just going to have a few minutes uh, just seeing if I can build a new section to this track because um, it went really well on Patreon last night. Um, and um, But I kind of ran out of time and I don't know what to do with the next section. So I thought maybe I'll try basing it around the clap, you know, maybe... Um, maybe here, I'll, now I'll take loop off by pressing this button on my Nectar GX Mini. Has anyone got a Nectar keyboard? And has anyone tried to contact Nectar? Because I was in touch with Nectar uh, when they sent me this maybe about a year ago. And, um, and they were very, very responsive. And I tried to contact them about a couple of things since. Um, with a couple of different email addresses I have for them and I've not had any reply. I'm just wondering if there's a problem at the company or anything because the keyboards, I think, are great. Really, really cool. Um, okay, so, um, yeah, maybe something around the clap. So if I play it from here, right? Um... Right, so that'll be the second time it's gone through that section there. Um, and then it needs to do something different. Now, this track is going to have, it's going to have bass, it's going to have guitar in it. Um, what I'm basically doing here is I'm, I'm kind of making a, like a, a shell of a song and then I'm going to introduce the real instruments to it. Um, so obviously the, when I play the guitar in it, I might come up with an idea with the guitar for the next section, but maybe let's just try something. Um, you'll see here that I'm using, um, I'm using drum 80, which I absolutely love. I wish it was multibus out. Uh, that would make it utterly awesome for iOS, but I just love the sounds in it. It sounds fantastic. And, uh, once I've, once I've got to a point where I'm ready to start mixing the track, what I'll do is I'll export each drum as real audio on its own, um, center panned, and then I'll start adding some knock to it, you know, and um, to each individual instrument. Um, and what I was saying on Patreon last night, let me just show you this in Drum 80. What would be nice is it has a, a really, really nice sounding reverb and delay, but you can only apply these globally. You can't send a different amount of each component part of the kit to the effects which renders it a little bit useless to me. It's it's great when you you know when you're getting your track together, you, you know, before you're starting to really deeply think about your sounds. So it's nice to have that bit of reverb on there, and you know it sounds cool. But then I couldn't, you know, I couldn't use the reverb in the in the app 
properly because I'd need to have added to each of these instruments here a send so I could send a different amount of each instrument to the reverb because I don't want to send any kick to the reverb I, I never do that it's um it just causes me all kinds of mixing problems so and you know you want a shit ton on the snare you know but you don't want the same amount as that on the hat you know so anyway little little side ramble a hippie side ramble um so after this bit here what <laughs> okay um maybe expand this out and then chop it and make me a little part here and then maybe do the same for the clap make myself in a little part there. right and let's make this loop around this section right um now I've got the tuned clap I don't want that I want it to be the same pitch as the others right so that's going to be what is it it's a D there okay so let's try that's never the right d must be that one that sounds better i'm going to give myself a kick to sort of give myself like a like a placeholder uh, Right, that's C1 for the kick, okay. Mm. Hey princess, thanks for joining us. Right. Right, now if you think this utterly, utterly sucks and is completely and utterly dreadful, then feel free to say so, you won't upset me. I'm just experimenting.
That's it. That's it. Right? Okay. I'm thinking like a sort of a, a breakdown section just kicks and claps and maybe the like um, acid bass sound or um, maybe something vocal maybe because it's going to be an instrumental track but maybe some kind of some kind of vocalization type thing I'm not sure I'm not sure but um, I just want a section that totally breaks down from the rest of it because the whole thing is sort of quite smooth sounding I think I think that's what I think that's what I think who knows what I think? Um, not me for sure. Let's go and right. We'll copy that, paste that across. Right, and maybe we want eight bars of that. Right, eight bars, and then back in. Maybe a key change. Maybe we should do the Bon Jovi key change for the end. Um, let's go with a copy of that and put them across there. And maybe this will be nothing more than a placeholder. But for now, I'm quite enjoying this. I think this is going somewhere. Um, then what would a key change be like there? Let's try. Um, if I select this whole section here just as an experiment oh i missed a bit let's try that again there okay copy bang that across oh come on there okay um and then we'll transpose everything up so select all this glue it in fact let's do that with both these tracks as well right glue them together i'm gonna select everything and i'm gonna transpose up three semitones it's gonna be like living on a prayer right Yeah, okay. Uh, where are the notes? They're there. Okay, right. Let's see what this goes like after the... After the In fact, just for ear reference, that's the key. Right, we've got us, you know... Breakdown section. Maybe a strobe light, disco ball, keychain. No idea what happens at the end, but you know, let, let me see how long this track is. Don't know if you know uh, that you can do this in Cubasis. Are you all Cubasis users, by the way? Um, I know that Russ is not, but um, what about the rest of you? Do the rest of you use Cubasis? If I take this back to the beginning of my track, right? Now, here's the thing I can do. Um, you'll notice I don't start at bar one. Actually, when I was making this track last night, I started... At bar 10, I always start like 10 bars in in case I think of a thing that wants to happen before the intro. Or I decide the intro is not the intro and there's something that needs to happen before that. And in fact, this morning, when I listened to it, I thought, I just want to do that bass thing. At the beginning. With a little, um, 
riser thing, you know, I'm not 100% on that right, but, you know, because I started later, I was able to do that without any issues. Hey, dude, thanks for being here, Jimmy Crow's here. Thanks for joining us. You use logic now. All right, princess. Um, I don't have logic whatsoever because I don't have a I don't have a Mac. Um, okay, so I decided that. Oh yeah, right. I was going to show you something. <sighs> Sorry, it's my age. Right. So um, I want to know how long my track is. Right. So I've gone back to the beginning of my first bar of music. And up here, it says bar five, because that's where it starts. If I press on that, if I do it with the mouse so that people can see you stupidity, there we go. Now, it's giving me a time. Starts at seven seconds. And then if I shoot across to my other marker, right, two minutes, 47. So basically, the track's about two minutes, 40. Which is not very long, is it? But, you know... I don't know. Um, I'm going to start getting the guitars in there and the bass and everything. We'll see. We'll see what, how much content I've got. Maybe I'll have loads of ideas and I'll extend it out. And maybe I won't. But um, I think the clap sounds awesome. What I forgot to tell you actually was I had um, last night when I was making this track, I didn't have the clap because I got the app for the, the clap this morning. Um, I had a snare instead. And the snare sounded great. It's the snare in Drum 80. Um, one thing I'm going to experiment with is having the snare and clap at the same time because sometimes that sounds great, depending on the um, the snare and the clap that you're trying to blend together. Now, what did I do with that snare? Did I mute it? Or No, I turned it down in the app. That's what I did. So if I go to Drum 80 here, uh, we'll just solo Drum 80. And I'll play this drum part. Turn the snare back up. Right? So, I could have snare and clap. I can just move this up a little. Yeah, I don't know. What do you think? What do you think? I think that's got potential. Bring the snare down a little bit. Maybe put a little more top end on the clap. You know? I don't know. Oh, stop sweating the camera. Still, be still. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to say thank you all very much to you. To um, thank you all of you very very much. If I can get my words out, I really really appreciate you joining me. It's been a long time since I did a, did a stream. I really wanted to get back to it. Then I tried a little while ago, and there was a problem with some of my gear, so I've been fixing that. And um, and you know, then it's like a good time when's a good time that i can do every week or a couple of times a week or whatever and it just never seems to work out so i just, I just decided what i'm going to do is when i've got a gap i'm going to stream right when i can i'm going to stream so the times might be a little bit random um but i'm just gonna to have to do it when i can do it i know it's better if you do it at the same time every day or whatever but i just can't do that it doesn't fit into my life so you may suddenly see a notification that Jamie's going to do a stream. And if you can, please do join me. Please consider um, joining my Patreon or at least just checking it out. Have a look at it. And um, if you'd like to make a, a donation at any point whatsoever to help me continue doing this, then that would be awesome. But most of all, I appreciate your friendship and thank you for being here. Um, mainly because otherwise I would be just talking to myself, which would suck. So, um, hand clap. I highly recommend it, especially at the price. I think it's quite wonderful. And um, until my next stream, all of you be good and take care of yourselves and make lots of, of music and try very, very hard 
not to piss your pants about. I'm going to play you out with this track. I believe that Doug has a video at eight. I think it's one of those um, one of those um, premiere type things. So um, if if there's a Doug premiere, I'll see you in that chat. Goodbye for now.